Greetings, everybody. Welcome to Tokyo. How you doing? Um, I'm here in Otemachi. This is in front of, uh, th well, this is where all of Tokyo's financial district, a lot of the banks, the buildings, the international banks, and a lot of money here in this area. Uh, this is PVG. He's here hey guys. to Hello. join me. Um, we, I, I had a lot of reservations on to tell you this story because both of our wives actually are Japanese and a little bit superstitious and my wife did not want me to tell you this story. Um, did you have the same? But you don't seem as, as serious as I do. You're smiling. I'm a, I'm a lighthearted guy, John. Lighthearted guy. I'm not but actually. I, be, I believe in this. I, be, I believe it too. I believe it too. Yeah. And we're going at this in a respectful angle. But, yes. you know, I think it's a story that's worth telling. It is a story um, worth it's, telling. It's a very intriguing story about the, the, yeah. how revered this, this uh, particular spirit is. This isn't really a ghost story. Um, if you can't stand, stand right next to me here, Peter. Um, this is an important story about the city of Tokyo. This legend goes back over a thousand years. In fact, I think it's coming up to 1,100 years um, in the next couple of decades. Well, it's an old story um, of Taira no, um, Masaka, Taira, Taira no Masakado. Taira no Masakado, whose burial spot is right there. Do you see that? And we're going to be doing this in a very respectful manner. And I think it's an important story that you have to learn to understand about the city of Tokyo, especially here in the, and in the financial district. Um, so, Peter is going to go over some of the history. This is all fact, all right? We're going to go over some of the facts, except for one part, which we're not quite sure about, but we're going to discuss it. And then, um, we're not actually going to go in there because we, this Haka Omaidi is where you give your respects. It's supposed to be done in the morning. There are some people doing it in the evening, but you can see here, people are showing, their, they're going, there, there are people going in here showing their respects. And it's a very serious thing. Here's a guy who's on a run who's going in there to show his respects. This is something that you, a lot of non-Japanese don't know about. And the seriousness of this and the superstition is something that makes me want to understand more about this. This is on Google Maps, this spot. Right. It's uh, Taira no Masakado's grave right. is on there. And if you look around, before we start the story, I want you to take a look around. Yeah, this is really interesting. All around... All right, here's the, here's the um, spot in, in the middle of very prime real estate. So and there's a tree there. Just over here, so, so over here okay. to the left, John. I'm showing just to the left here. Straight ahead here, this is... That's the, the Imperial, Imperial Palace. Palace. That's where the Emperor resides. Very and then close. all around it, I'm going to go around, are these skyscraper buildings. Do you see this? Very, very big, brand new skyscraper buildings, 21st century stuff. They're actually building one right next to it. Do you see the, the um, bulldozers? Literally right next to it. This is the last place where people wanted to build. Nobody wanted to build the building next to this shrine. I'm serious. They, and, and Peter's gonna go over the history right now, but just for those who are coming here and thinking about YouTubing, if you do come here, do it in a very serious and respectful manner because this story does, it, it, it's, it's very important to local people here. A comedian who came here with TV cameras a few years ago was kicked and punched by locals for coming here and didn't find work for three years. There's a lot of things surrounding this that make me a little bit worried, which is why I am kind of want to give some background and, and do this in a very serious way. Peter. Safety um, in numbers. Safety in numbers, but I think it's, a, it's important for people to understand the context here. Right. Um, Peter. Why don't you go ahead with the history? I, did I okay. drop the photos? I've got all the photos. All right. You want to hold them up? Give a little slideshow while. Yeah. I'm as as you go speak. go ahead. You yeah. want to hold it or? Sure. Sure. Okay. Sure. I'll I'll keep the photos. This is Taira no uh, Taira no uh, Masakado here. That's a picture of him. Um. In the ninth, tenth century, right. like the mid tenth century, nine hundred and thirties, nine hundred and forties. So let's let's you got it. Yeah. Let's turn back the clocks to the nine hundreds. And Taira no Masakado was a bit of a rebel. He, he uh, orchestrated a battle in some provinces in northern, or northern Japan, the Kanto region, of um, several provinces up in, in Tohoku and that, that area. In the, right, Hitachi, Ibaraki, yeah. Right, right. So 
after this battle, he declared himself emperor. Well, the reigning emperor at the time, as you would be, was not happy about that. In Kyoto, and, yeah. In Kyoto. He had him arrested and beheaded. And the head was left in, Kyo uh, w w in Kyoto. Yeah, he was arrested, brought to Kyoto, I think, I believe. And was beheaded, beheaded. In, in Kyoto, yeah. Right. And his head was left there, and some odd things began to happen. The, the head did not decompose, and we see that in a lot of these, these images that are that John Yeah, brought. go ahead and find There's the images. Some, um, the townspeople he, are, are... He was a very angry man. He was angry. He was angry with the system. And yeah. hence his his uprising. The anger, the anger. He was so angry that that's what made it fly on its own volition. Right. Yeah. So, however, prior to it flying, it began to glow, and the face. I didn't know this part. Right. The face transformed into a, a grimace, a very angry grimace, before it took flight, and it flew and landed in this spot. Right here. It landed here in right Otemachi. here. Otemachi. A thousand years ago, it landed in that exact same spot. And uh, go ahead and finish your story. So, well, to, after, after it, the legend, according to the legend, after the, the head landed here, it uh, was buried in a simple mound, burial mound. And about a decade later, that mound began to glow. And people then started to really take notice that, you know, this had some some special spiritual power. Something was going on here. Right. So, um, he has notes, so do right. I. So Actually. fast forward. Okay. Fast forward, after this was, this took place and the, the, the head was in this burial mound, fast forward to the 13th century. Well, a temple was built next door to this. And that's when the trouble began. People, began to get sick. There was a plague and people were having unexplained accidents. And later, a century later, a hall was built acknowledging the spirit of Masakado. And the spirit took calm at that point. It was respected. Right. We fast forward again to the 17th century. And that's the 1600s. Right, 1600s. Um, Some people don't know. The Taira no Masakado was officially given deity status. So he was recognized as a kami, a god. Right. He's a deity. Right. So then the Edo period, this is around the Edo period, which was the late 1860s, 1868, the Edo era ended, which was the end of feudal Japan. So at that point, the, uh, the government of Japan built a government building next to the mound, this burial mound of Masakado. Uh, is this after the Great Kanto Earthquake? No, before. Before, before right. okay. Before. Well, that, then we'll go to the, the Kanto Earthquake. I, I'll, I'll take over from right. there, yeah. So, then, then the, the Kanto Earthquake yeah. happened, and... Yeah, that was the Great Kanto Earthquake of 1923. It devastated the city. I have some pictures here to show you to give you an idea. I have them right here. This is what, what happened during the Great Kanto Earthquake. I want you to imagine the, some of the images of the tsunami from 2011, it, it just wiped it out like that. Just literally, the city was destroyed. Back then the buildings were not sound for earthquakes, so when that earthquake hit here, it was completely right. destroyed. It was after the Great Kanto Earthquake of 1923 that the Ministry of Finance, those foolish people, they decided that they wanted to build their new finance office right on top of this burial ground. Um, what a disgrace well, they are. Yeah. To give them, to show, to try to know Masakado the respect that he, he deserved a lot more respect. They built the building literally on top of it. Because of the earthquake had destroyed the area around it, they thought it was safe, it was not. Um, within a couple of years of the building of it, 14 people were, came down with mysterious deaths. They died in mysterious ways. Nobody could explain them. The inexplicable deaths is what the internet says. 
On top of that, there were countless other dozens of other people that had um, foot and hand and arm problems just for no reason. It was because of this, as well as the, the, just the economic times are bad, the Ministry of Finance realized their era, error and they tore the building down. They tore the building down and, re and rebuilt this shrine because they figured because of all this inexplicable stuff, it, they, were, they were wrong to disrespect the deity, which is right there. Right. All right, this is back in, in uh, a couple of years after the Contra earthquake, they were rebuilding and uh, yeah, so this all well, happened in the, in the early 1920s and mid-20s. Right. Mid yeah. Well, and at that point, that's when people began to, to acknowledge that, okay, this is some kind of curse that's going on. Yeah. At, at that point, they're like, okay, this, there's some, something a little bit difference going on with this, this Masakado's grave being here and people not respecting it and erecting buildings on or near the property. Well, people want this property. Look at it. It's, it's in the yeah, middle. It's prime real estate. I put a link in the description, a URL on Google Maps. You can see where this is. It's just right. an amazing piece of, pro the most expensive property probably in Tokyo or the world is right here, this corner. And it's still well preserved. I think it was just a couple couple years after that, before they decided, didn't lightning strike the building next to the shrine? I think so, yeah, all kinds of calamities. All kinds of calamities yeah. were happening. Lightning struck the building next to uh, Taira no Ma uh, Masakado's sh uh, shrine, mm -hmm. destroying the building. Right. If, if there was not another symbol as strong as that, that was like from the sky, lightning bolts, all right? Right. So then they, they get it in the, and the, an annual ritual that started all the way back in the 13th century, right, was continued again. All right, and this is back in the 20th century. Right. They continued it again, right. which is great until World War II. Exactly. And in World War II, um, there was no annual ritual going on, so I guess there was felt a little bit disrespected, but at the same time, it was in the reconstruction after the war. Now, Tokyo has suffered greatly in, in 1945, March 1945, the worst bombing raid in the history of the world. It was awful. The city was flattened. And uh, the U.S. came in in 45 to 1952 for reconstruction. It was at that time that the U.S. military thought that it was okay to, to put a parking put, lot to put a parking lot on this spot. All right, the U.S. occupation. I don't know what um, they were. Mc, uh, Doug uh, MacArthur was thinking. He put a parking lot here. All right, and it was in that in the first when when they started doing it, the bulldozer that was making the parking lot, I believe, flipped over and the driver died. All right, the driver died. And there were people here, now war, the war, there were a lot of casualties, but there were still locals here that knew the story all the way back. The traditions don't leave just because of that. And the locals did not, told the Americans, do not build here, respect it. And right. I believe I believe they did for the most part after the driver died. Right. Well, at one point, that he was stripped of his deity status. Oh, come. wow. Oh, wow. And because, at, after World War II, they excavated this area and they did not find the skull. So they thought it was safe. So they thought, okay, this is this is all BS, and that's when they decided no. to pave it, make a parking lot, that's... and then, then things really started to get bad. So the what's another interesting point? This is kind of like uh, on a side note, but. This this is very a very famous spot for the Japanese and Let, let's walk a little bit okay. this way. I'm sorry. I just want, I, I just don't want so, to be in the same spot across the street from it. It's a uh, it's uh, common for this spot to get um, television programs talking about it. Yeah. And, and actually, they made a, a, this a side. Uh, NHK made a drama. So. At, at the point where this was, where he lost his deity status, um, that's it behind the pole. Can we move? Like, it's like a, a, sorry, yeah. we want to so, give him the. We don't want to put here. a pole. Yeah, right there. So he, because they didn't find a skull, that the, his deity status was stripped from him, and it was like, okay, this guy is, was not legit. But then, NHK. This is fast forward to modern times, right? You got to fly on your head following us around. Um, NHK made a program, a, do, a drama on Taira no Masakado. Mm. And after that, the people, the, the, the citizens of Japan, raised, raised hell about it because yeah. they were like, wait a minute, you know, 
why, why, did, why was he stripped of deity status? So he was, his deity status was reinstated. He's a kami, he's a god for the, for the Japanese. He's been restored as a... And, and you can see there's a lot of love that's been put into this area, the shrine. There's trees here, nature, it's extremely clean. People still go there, they leave a lot of... Is, is, do you have the picture, Peter? Yeah. David, thank you. Here's the picture of the shrine at daytime. I'm not, I don't even know if I want to go in there, Peter. I have to be honest with you. That's what it looks like on the inside. Right. There's a the stone. There's a stone out of respect, and you can see. Do you, do you guys see that on the on the bottom there? People live sake and yeah. flowers. So we can we can go up to the steps there. Just walk by and just give them a closer look. But we're not going to go inside yeah. it. But we'll, we'll we'll cross the street. But the, okay, now Peter, this is this is where the last photo comes in. I'm I have to be honest with you. I am somewhat hesitant to to go in there. Are yeah. you okay to go in there? Would you go in there? Right now? No, for oh, Hak Almighty. I, I don't want to do it. Yeah, we'll, we'll go in there another time. I don't want to go in there right now. But Look, I think it's okay if we walk up close to it. All right, the reason I'm standing across the street is because we are somewhat disconnected and there are other people between us and, and the Ohaka, which is actually the, the burial spot for it. I'm being really serious, guys. The going in there, I, I, if anything bad were to happen, they could just blame the YouTuber. I think and there's people What's that are I, I don't know I don't want but, if something happens with the Tokyo 2020 Olympics they could blame us I don't want to be a scapegoat for this there are people that are in there yeah it's not a place to, to play around and, and not take seriously yeah people just, are we'll, praying we'll in there the street. let's go across the street and we'll walk by and just, and show right, we get, I can walk by but I don't want to do anything disrespectful so we're going to go walk around it um, this is a very serious story this is a lot of things that I, I let's cross i want to do it properly peter wanted to jaywalk i just want to point this out you wanted to jaywalk i want i'm doing it properly because you're supposed to follow the laws and he was a shogun he well he was like he, he, he considered himself the shogun right for me no uh, yeah uh, okay. so he would not be happy with you breaking the law and jaywalk back then well yeah right in front of his sight Come on, Peter. Well, I, I was trying to get there as quickly as possible to show my reference. This in front of you is the Imperial Palace that you can see. The sun is just setting. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful spot. It's it is a, a it is a nice everywhere. spot, but but it is just I want to now I can look back here. The last place for the construction in Otemachi for the business district is right around, right around the uh, shrine. It's crazy, right? Isn't that amazing? And it would be easy for you to walk past this and miss this, but. I think that scared me. Yeah, me too. It would be very easy to miss this. And do you see they wouldn't build anything in front of it? So there's, I, I, there's just so much respect paid for this. So what I was going to say about uh, about the, the drama, the NHK oh, the NHK and, drama? and other, other television programs that come here and, and feature this story, Yeah. They before they begin filming, they pray because they don't want any funny stuff going on. You know oh, I mean? they, are, this they is the come history of the pray. making of the show? No, no, of any shows, of any uh, any television programs in Japan that are featuring this story of, about Taira no Masakado. Shh. I don't want to wake him up. Taira no Masakado. Don't whisper it either, Peter. I'm serious. So, um, another really interesting fact is... Let's stick with facts. From what we hear... Hold on, I'll show the map show here. show exactly where we are. Here we are, right here. All right, there's the Imperial Palace. You are here. Yeah. Imperial Palace is over here. And right here, Taira no Masakado, what is it? Masakado Zuka. So this is his, where his head is interred. Is that right? Yeah. Supposedly. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting spot to visit. But we can't stress enough the importance that if you do come here and visit it, Respect be respectful. It. Okay. I, I think everyone gets that point. There was a comedian I said in the beginning of this. He came here um, with a TV crew, and the locals kicked him and punched him and beat him, and he didn't get work for three years. People are serious about this. In fact, my wife told me that do not people in this area their desks no one has their back turned right. towards you heard this yeah, too i heard that too nobody has their back turned their back right so all these office back. buildings you see here 
all these office buildings, the desks are turned to facing this way because they don't want to turn their backs towards the grave because of the wrath. So show the, show the building right here. Yeah, so all the desks are facing towards this direction. My, if their back is facing it, they close the curtain. They close the curtain. So notice that, all that. All those so there's a lot of curtains wrong. closed. Yep. Seriously, if any failure in business happens, it could be because of the location or upsetting the deity. What, 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 what this is the about, true story, everybody. <clears throat> so what do you think about this the is, people this is who got this property right next door? Do you think there was like some hesitancy before I think, they I think, bought the land? I think Westerners bought it. I think probably foreigners bought the property. See this skyscraper? These are brand new skyscrapers being built right literally on the doorstep of this shrine deity of anger and venge. Mm. It's not the best place to build a skyscraper building. All of this that we're telling you is based That's on, it's real, except yeah. for the fact, I, it's, it's kind of a legend that maybe his head due to its own anger flew on its own volition from Kyoto to here. Oh, you don't believe it? Do you believe it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I believe it too. Okay. Just Especially since I'm like 10 yards away from potential trouble. I'm not going in. Okay, I'm not either, but we're just going to show it. Yeah, so... From the... Let's pause here for a second. I'm not pausing. I don't want to pause, Peter. Well, you can't, so inside, let me just, let's just back up for a second here. Inside I here is, is, the, is the shrine, and people make offerings called Shinsen. Shinsen is, you, you see it at all the shrines in, in Japan. People go and they make an offering where they put uh, sake or fruit or vegetables or all kinds of things as an offering to the kami, to the deity. So that also is in here. You see, you see uh, bottles of sake, you want to? Are you going to go in there? You want me to report? Back I'm not going in there. Are you going to take the camera? I'm not taking the camera. I'm I don't want this on me. No, my Kanai scared me. She told me stuff before I left. We got in like a mini argument. She wouldn't. She didn't want me to go in there. Yeah. It's not. It's not a joke, well, Peter. A That's just, just no. I don't have any bread to offer. I'm supposed to leave oh, an offering. There's like a. There's a, a there's flame. A his... There's a lit flame in there. Well, yeah. There's people give respect for this. It's like an eternal. Let's just flame. keep walking. I don't want to. I don't want to go in there. He's going in. You at least show it. Just, yeah. just do it respectfully. Don't get too close. If you're not ready. There's fresh flowers, and there's also an, an English explanation of. What is... We should not be doing this. You should not. Peter! Peter! It should not be in there. Alright guys, I'm just gonna keep walking. Peter, I'm just gonna be over here. I'll see you later. Uh, I showed you the picture of what it looks like inside. You don't really need to see. Just gonna, just gonna keep walking a little bit. Look, there's, this is a construction site. Things could fall on our heads. Something could happen. Anything could happen. I don't know, but I don't want to be. I don't want the curse. I just want to show respect to, to the deity by not even going in there. I'm not worthy, and I don't have anything to give as gifts, out of respect. So the best thing is just don't. Let's not turn our back and just wait for Peter. And hopefully he'll be making making his way out soon. He'll give us a full report. I've been in there. I've actually been in there to, to um, uh, we, we went in here last time when we did the food truck episode. All right, I don't see him yet. He knows I'm not going in there. I told him before we started, I'm not going in there. I just don't want, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Now here he comes. Yeah, I, I'm not superstitious, but why would I even take the chance? Why even take the chance of going in there? I don't know. He's a little bit braver than me.
Okay, that's good. More information is good. So every um, autumn equinox, there's a tomb ceremony here. It's the ritual. Right. And also, every other May, I'm not sure if it happened this May, but every other May, hundreds of mikoshi, which are those, those little uh, portable shrines that people carry on their shoulders. Right. Hundreds of them throughout this area, including uh, Taira Masakado's uh, uh, Horen and his, his uh, what do you call it? The, it's his mikoshi with his spirit um, is paraded through the area. Um, so you may want to check a calendar if you're interested in, and you're in Tokyo at that time. Yeah. Uh, find out. I if will it, pay my respects that day. Mm. Did, did you take your hat off? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, interesting though. Very, very interesting. It is very interesting. I, I just, from all the stuff that we told you, people died. Um, they, the Ministry of Finance tore down their building out of respect. Also, if you go to the national tax the J Japan's National Tax Agency. There's a part on their website about it as well. I put a link in the description of this video. You can go check it out if you read Japanese. That's how much respect it is. The government agencies put this in their website to explain mm. a lot of stuff. Um, yeah. I so don't know. So once again, we're in Otemachi. Otemachi. The shrine of Taira no Masakado, if you're just tuning in. Right, let's go. I don't want to get, let's, I think they've seen it. You don't want to close it out from across the street? I'm not closing it out from across. I'll close it out from the intersection nearby. I don't want to be there. You know why, Peter? Safety because Sam. Look, there's this is a construction zone. Things can fall on top of your head. Something can happen. I don't think that you are, and you're wearing, you're wearing shorts. That's not very respectful. Pan down to your legs there. That's handsome. why I didn't, you didn't see me going in. Did you? I prayed for you. For me? No. Just to yeah. pray. Pray for the deity. Let's sh shall we cross the street? All right, let's cross the street. I'm crossing the street. Peter, I'm crossing the street. I, that car almost hit me. Peter, I'm crossing. It's red. Peter. All right, good. I feel somewhat safer now. Yes. But those 14 people that died of mysterious illnesses, it happened over years, Peter. Okay. I'll get back to you. This is a real beautiful. tale. That, it is very beautiful, actually. In fact, there was a lot of beautiful flowers there yeah. at the shrine. It is a beautiful area. It's all been redone, despite all of the uh, tales. I think Taira no Mascara would be proud that his, his area has gone from a fishing village to one of the most amazing cities in the world. Well, John, I think you're being a little bit overdramatic here. Look. You and I both... That's my wife's fault. My wife told me not to go in you there. You and I both have the utmost respect for Japan and its people and its culture. And coming here today was not about poking fun at, at this, this spectacular legend. It was about showing respect. People, the Japanese people, Do revere this, this I god. I understand that, and but I, he doesn't speak English. He doesn't know what we're saying. Does... It could be misinterpreted, How basically. Do you know I don't know. Maybe I don't he's know. He's going to be pissed off at you for thinking he doesn't understand it. Well, that's it. Well, this is the point. People don't even go at all. That's it. You know, unless you're, you're, people will just avoid it yeah. if you're not. In fact, just, just don't even watch this. Video. Don't watch the don't video. Don't watch the video. Yeah, just. And I don't should, come here. This is going unlisted then. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Think it over. That's the the part where there's no building is the Imperial Palace. There's the moat there. Um, but gonna... one, one, one thing, another point here. We talked about the, shi, the Shinsen, which is the offering. This video is cursed, writes in somebody. Ghostly Vibes writes in this video is cursed. Great. So if you are going to be... That was dismissive. Coming, if you're going to come here and be respectful, then, and you want to make an offering, you can. And that generally takes place in the mornings. Yeah. Um, and sake, fruit, uh, vegetables, fresh fresh produce. Did you see produce there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, canned, canned goods as, goods as well. Canned curry. How about bear curry might even be? No. They might have eaten that in the, back in the day though, a Maybe. thousand years ago. So, and I've often, this is kind of a, a little side note, but I've often wondered, and I'm sure you guys have too, and I know you have, this Shinsen, these offerings, that the, the, the Shinto offerings, what happens to the food? It's all, you go there and there's tons of packaged food there. What happens to it? Who eats it? You know Wait, the answer? You're not telling me you take the food home with you. 
I what don't. Are you, well, what are you telling us? Just tell us the answer. This isn't a quiz show. Am I on Jeopardy? Come on. <laughs> well, the <laughs> the attendant, the uh, the monk or the attendant who's tending to the shrine site has full rights to take that stuff. Sake, canned goods, fresh produce, fruits. Well, they don't drink it. Yes, they do. So they take in the... Yes, they do. They're allowed to take it. That's or not, if they don't not drink right. it, they have to dispose of it in a respectful way um, and keep things green. That's the truth. All right, show them the Ut Utagawa woodblock print. Utagawa is, is one of the most famous woodblock print artists. There is one that represents this. This is it right here. This is the last thing about this I want to show you before Peter and I go to a beer craft beer garden. Are we going? Do I have to buy you something for this now? Yeah. All right. To forget your worries. Sure would. All right. This is the last one. You oh, we'll get rid of this one. Hold this up here. This is this is this is a, a Utagawa print. And down here in the le lower left corner, you can see the beheading of a very angry. I believe <laughs> that's Taira no Mascado there. Sorry to lose his head. Right, and then the huge skeleton over it, the vengefulness over the entire is this realm. This ukiyo-e print? Um, no, u u you don't know um, Uta Utagawa? It's a very famous woodblock print artist. He did the 52. Yeah, so uki yeah. ukiyo-e is, is ukiyo -e is a type. Yeah, it's yeah, a type of it. Print. Yeah, that's the type of the woodblock print. Okay, you can put this away. It's very. It's just local legends. All right, it's good to tell. I'm just gonna keep walking away from him. He looks like the skeleton. Where are you going? Just telling my wife I'm still alive. Oh, you kind of look like that skeleton in the. Why are you smiling? It's not. It's not a laughing matter. I feel a little bit, but when you tell urban um, legends or that are based on fact and you're there on the spot, it's yeah. a little bit more creepier. Well, I, I think the, I the promised time, my wife I would do this in a respectful way. And you did. And I'm did, proud of you. Are you proud? You're, you're a respectful human. That's why I hang out with you. Really? Well, it's not for all the treats I, I, I treat you. <laughs> uh, well, I'll take care. I'll take care. Where, yeah. where was this place? Do you remember? Uh, good question. Where? I think it was this okay, way. This way, yeah, down this way. Okay, this way? Oh, right there. Okay. So, this is a good, let's uh, show them. So, very near Taira no Masakado Shrine is an outdoor oh. craft beer place. There's several little restaurants in this, between these two buildings over here. Yeah, so we're about, about 150 meters away from the, the uh, shrine. Right. And around... 250 meters away, right there is a beer place. So I think it's appropriate that we just visited this legendary shrine that's that's between two buildings, that we go to a nice beer place that's between two buildings. You see the correlation here, Johnny? I guess so. I'm not gonna argue with that reasoning. Would you? <laughs> Never, uh, nobody, nobody watching is arguing. Um, but. Yeah, it's important for you to understand. I think if you want to really understand the city of Tokyo and, and Japan, you should know some of its legends and you should know the, the background of this country. And for the city of Tokyo and the city of Edo going back a thousand years, Taira no Masakado's grave is very significant. And you can see that it's still very much respected because surrounded surrounding the grave is are all these new buildings and they will never, ever, ever ever move never. that spot they will never ever ever move that grave spot because they never. know what will happen yes right and you know what john that's I how just, respected it is i just found another little interesting tidbit okay that i'd like to share with you fine people you're standing in this light okay so i know i've been talking a lot about whoa oh. it's kind of spooky all right go ahead I'm talking a lot about these off well, there was another really interesting tidbit that I just remembered. All right. Not the only ones who are offering the sake and things. There are actually people whose job it is to do that. And those people, for in certain cases, they perform 
abstinence for a period of time so that they are pure when they are offering these shinsen to the to the shrine to the gods. I, I think and you do I the see the right resemblance. Now. Yeah. Wait, you got to stand in the Skol light properly. What's that, what's that uh, character? Skeletor. 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 <laughs> Am I allowed to joke yeah, I'm a proud little? I'm proud of that, man. No, I'm not making fun of the fact that you don't have hair. You just look like Skeletor. Thank you. Skeletor is a handsome guy. He's not bad. He's not bad. He's built like a brick. Wouldn't you rather be He-Man? Nah. More like a She-Ra? I like She-Ra. She was she cute. Yeah. I was only, you know, like nine at the time. She gets it done. She does get it done. She-Ra. She, she had wide hips. Birthing hips. Oh man, yeah, she did. She did. You know she my my uh, hero. I never understood what my what my what, what, when my when my, the our elders said she has birthing hips. I never understood what they meant by that. You never understood kid. why your dad wanted to watch that program alone. No, he was reading the he was reading the newspaper. He wasn't actually watching it. Okay. That that I know of. Well, Linda Carter as Wonder Woman. Oh, that was a good show. Was you yeah. Stand that was in the my light first. Properly. That was my first crush. Not standing in the light. She she got it done. Linda Carter. Oh man. Oh yeah. Which with the lasso, <sighs> throwing guys around in the stacks of boxes and stuff. That's my fantasy, man. Is this still running? Is this still on? It's still on. Yeah. It's still on. Ramsey Silent. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. Well, we got it. I'll take. We'll take care of it. Thank you, T. We're, let's show you in here. You, I'm not getting. This is the area. It, it's brand new. It was recommended to us during the food truck run, which we did right there. You remember we ate our food truck lunches That's right awesome. there. Um, about two, three weeks ago, right? When there's tables outside, we can sit. Yeah, we better snag something quick because yeah. these business people are here. So, are you, do you want to do it here or was there another one? There's one. Let's do this first. There's two. There's one there. There's another one down there. I don't know if I want to do two. I actually got work to do. Oh, look at this car here. Oh, that's a pretty cool car. What? What? All right, let's get closer to this. It's, that like car's like... Itasha. It, it, Itasha. It's so, it's so beautiful. People are like, Itai, Itai, Itasha. It's painful. It's so That's pretty cool. It is very funky. I don't want to show the number plate. I watched the car start up like Christine. Hey, 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 we're, we're just, we're, we're newly removed from that story. Legend. Um, do you want to be here or at the other one? There's like two. I want to start here. Oh, you do want to start here? Um, this is the other one here. Right? Oh, is this a bistro? Okay, let's. I'll follow you. Oh no, no, Peter, Peter, that other one was better. Don't you remember? You forget? We didn't. How do you know it's better? We haven't been in there. They had more. They had more choices. Of beer? I think so. So lovely courtyard here between these buildings. Let's go check it out, anyways, real quick. The signal is cursed. People are saying that there's no. I'm really hungry too. We've got Thai food here. Did you see the emojis on, on the, the Only in Japan Discord server? No. They have two of you. One of them has a helmet, and the other one is you smiling. You haven't yeah. seen it? No, I haven't seen Aren't it. You? Oh, I, haven't seen, I, I went there once, I visited once, oh. but I've not been back to yours. This one looks, this one looks better, right? Well, Doesn't it? This is called the Craft Beer Market. Yeah, I figured that this is better, because look, it's crowded. Or, it's more crowded. Let me ask if there's seating for two. Or do you want to go back to the other place? I'm very interested. Peter just walk into any place. He doesn't really fear spirits. Beer would be a spirit, right? Thank you, thank you, Ramsey Silent, sharing our Discord server. If you are not on our Discord server, welcome. Join the community. We have uh, a very quickly growing community. All right, we got two. We got seats inside at the counter. Oh, if that's. You want to sit inside. Oh, really? Inside? Yeah, at the counter. So, I guess we can do that. We can go to both, John. Let's just say goodbye to the people then. I can't yeah. take this inside. No. Yeah. 
Hey so, guys. yeah, this is a story about, about spirits, the other kind of spirits, not, <laughs> yeah, not this yeah, yeah. spirit, right? A but, spirit between two buildings and now spirits yeah. between many buildings. So all this that you see up here, all these skyscrapers and buildings, it's all built here in the center of Tokyo. Um, it used to be a fishing village, now it is a, a great city, and it's all because of Taira no Masakado. Masakado. Out of respect for him, I give him all the credit. I do. I'll give you some credit. Yeah. Your channel's doing very well. Thank you, sir. You want to plug it? I do. Do it. So, my name's Peter Von Gom. I have a YouTube channel called Peter Von Gom Japan. You had to name it after yourself. I did. I um, couldn't think of a better one. <laughs> and I do motovlogs, so bike related culture in Japan, motorcycles, destinations. Nations, people related to bikes. Please check it out. Peter Von Gum Japan. John will put it, a link. Yeah, a, there'll be a link in there. It's very actually Ramsey Silent has done this already. Thank you very oh, thank much. You. Thanks, team. Thank you. He's up in the middle of the night as well. This is very, very early in the Appreciate United it. States or late. But and, um, so was that Nosh? No, who's this? Oh, UFO Bob. Thank you, UFO Bob. Thank yeah, you, sir. Yeah, no, Nosh might still be here too because the UFO Bob was addicted to the uh, Discord server, I believe, right? I, I was too. I kept on looking at it this morning. It's kind of crazy. You don't, he doesn't even know what it is. Discord? Yeah, I do. Well, you've not seen it? I saw it. I've told you. I've visited yours. And I have a Discord channel. You're celebrated on that channel, too, in the Discord server. They celebrate you, and yet you I just respect. Be. I should be. Just like Tyrone no Masakado. I, you're going to get, get beheaded. Everywhere. You're going to get beheaded, and then you. your head will fly to that Johnny on the spot over there in the corner. Of, it won't be out of anger. Instruction site. It'll be out of freedom. Out of freedom. Yeah, what are you, Braveheart? Okay, whatever. All right, thanks, everybody. We're going to go in here. If you do come to Tokyo, be respectful, but be be understanding of the history of Tokyo because it is quite interesting. People really do believe in this um, and with good right because bad stuff could happen yes. if you don't. Yes. We'll see what happens to Peter over the next two, three years. Okay, be cool. Okay, I'm just saying. All right, in we go. See you. Have a good day. Have a good night, everybody. We'll see you on the other side of this.